Please welcome the Speaker of the House, Emmanuel Chris Welch. Good morning, Illinois Democrats. Come on, we can do better than that. Good morning, Illinois Democrats. It fills my heart to look around this room and see our strong, united, Democratic Party. I see Christina Zahorek, our host and president of our Democratic County Chairs Association. I see the chair of the Democratic Party of Illinois, Lisa Hernandez. She's in back. She's getting ready. And I see our governor, Governor J.B. Pritzker. Our dynamic Lieutenant Governor Juliana Stratton. I see our federal leaders, Senator Tammy Duckworth and Senator Durbin, who in the face of united, unified Republican opposition work to revitalize our economy, combat global warming, and curb inflation. They made history. We have to give it to Senator Duckworth and Durbin one more time. Another round of applause, please. I see so many of our Illinois House and Senate Democrats who are on the front lines fighting for the future of our state. And I see so many great friends here this morning, so many volunteers and tireless activists, the beating heart of our party, without whom none of us would be here today. I see a whole bunch of Illinois Democrats who delivered for families across this great state. You know what else I see? I see the defenders of the right to choose. That's who's in this room. I see the leaders who are organizing for a smarter approach for gun safety. We're not going to see that from the other party. I see the men and women who are going out to put workplace protections in our Illinois Constitution, who believe that right to work was wrong for Illinois when Bruce Rauner tried to put it in. They believed it was wrong then, and they believe it's wrong now. I see the people who sent us to balance the budget, improve Illinois' credit, close corporate loopholes, and put more money in the pockets of working families across this great state. I see the people who are going to continue to lift our state up from the wreckage that Bruce Rauner and the Republicans caused on this great state. I see the people who look like Illinois. Look across this room from every point of this state. The Illinois Democratic Party looks like Illinois. I guarantee you won't see that from the other party. And make no mistake, it's up to the people in this room to keep moving Illinois forward. We cannot let the Republicans drag us back. Let me tell you what we will see when the Republicans are in town tomorrow. We won't see anyone in that party standing up for reproductive freedom because they're the ones trying to strip it away from all of us. We won't see anyone serious about making our community safer because they're the ones Let's remember that. They're the ones helping the NRA flood our streets with weapons of war. We won't see anyone fighting for the rights of working families because nearly half of their candidates were recruited by Bruce Rauner's buddies at the Illinois Policy Institute. Let's remind them that 34 people running against Democrats in the House were recruited by the Illinois Policy Institute and four running in the Illinois Senate were recruited by the Illinois Policy Institute. You guys remember the Illinois Policy Institute? They ran Bruce Rauner's office. Do we want to go back to that? No. We won't go back to that. And let me hear you say it. We won't go back. We won't go back. We won't go back. We won't go back. Let me tell you why we won't go back. Because it's not just us with our names on the ballot who are counting on Democrats. Everyone who now looks to Illinois as a beacon of reproductive freedom is counting on Democrats. 
Every parent who sends their child to school and says a prayer that their kid will be safe is counting on Democrats. The families trying to make ends meet are counting on Democrats. Workers who want to organize for fair wages and safe workplaces are counting on Democrats. <laughs> Democrats deliver. So here's my call to action for all of you. We have 82 days until Election Day, 82 days that will shape our state and our country for years to come. That's 1,968 hours for those of you who are counting. And I'm asking you to use that time to make a difference. Go knock on some doors. And when you think you've done enough, go knock on another door. Go knock on another block. Round up your friends who only vote in presidential elections and get them to a poll. Get them to early vote. Tell your neighbors who don't think their votes matter just what's at stake and how Democrats are making a difference. I am living proof of what happens when people vote. Ten years ago this year, I won my first race for, my first race for state representative by 36 votes. And here I stand 10 years later as the first black lawmaker in our state's 203-year history as Speaker of the House. Every vote counts. Votes matter. The people of this state are counting on Democrats, and Democrats are the ones who do the work. We are winners, and winners do the work. Let me hear you say it. Winners do the work. Come on, let me hear you say it. Winners do the work. We have to get out and make sure we knock on every door and don't leave a stone unturned. Are you ready to do the work? I don't think I'm convinced yet. Are you ready to do the work? Let's leave here today and let's go to work and let's get Democrats elected in November. Thank you all this morning. Thank you.